Well, hello everyone, and here I am with the uh, Lego Star Wars Buildable Figure Review. And this one is on the on Han Solo and Range Trooper that were just released. So on the front of the boxes, see the Lego logo, Star Wars logo. And picture of the set that comes within. And see Disney logo, Buildable Figures logo, and age group, set number name and amount of pieces 101 for both and then you see a picture of them on the sides and all and on the back you see the actual size of the characters and them and character in those different poses and all the features of them and yeah and on to the booklets on the front of them, you see the same picture that was on the front of the boxes. On the back, went on the online survey. All the pieces included, and after Lego Life. And then, the, all, both them again, and, along with Darth Maul, which I'll review soon. And the last building steps. And Range Troopers, same thing. And on the larger parts list and then same ad like a life adding in and the last building steps okay now starting out with the lead antagonist Han Solo himself so pretty good figure this one is so the legs of which are just about simplistic of buildable figure Star Wars figures can get, but except that the like Rogue One shell pieces, but they have this like unique printing to them, probably resemble the stripe on the pants he's wearing, but on the right one has a little strap to it, it's supposed to be like a pulger for resembling a pulger for a small pistol right there. And this one built a little different than previous Star Wars figures. But it slips on like most do. <clears throat> and then the chest plate of which, just about the same, but in dark brown and has some unique printings to it. And also the arms, just also quite simplistic. But with these all new kind of uh, shoulder pad pieces, which do look pretty interesting, might come nice in mocking and all. And also on the arms of which, a lot of dark brown pieces, which are quite cool. Something you can get for mocking. And then but also on the neck area is a new, uh, this new neck. Or, or collar piece which kind of goes over the ball joint like that and then the head comes over it <laughs> kind of interesting and also if you, and from the back is the as you see the same piece that a lot of the Star Wars build figures had and also the like Technic uh tile thingies or kind of thing just like what most of which do and now you're probably wondering is there a gearbox feature no it off and then you can see how it's kind of with one of the coat hanger type pieces and everything well there's a gearbox in it but it does it's not meant for anything and so now onto the head piece sculpt. At least I think kind of well captures it. The actor of it. Like give you all around. Really some alright sculpting for the hair and all. Like if it decides to focus, there we go. And what else? Oh, and also, 
So for the main blaster, I have, has another one of them, but in black, but kind of like we saw on Boba Fett's one. And also, can I, like, press it from the top, kind of like Jin Urso's, and it's kind of similar to Jin Urso's one. And that is it with Han Solo. And so, how tall is he? And of course, alongside last year's Chewbacca one. So, but at least good to have, but at least good that they're both available in this system. Even though Chewbacca kind of taller and all, but yeah. And so now, on to with the range trooper. So, the links of which, also kind of simplistic. Of them, but with the like bonicle like add on pieces that are white, probably be like extra armoring, not sure. And also, one of those like things from Rogue One ones, but for some extra greebling detailing. And as you see, has a like leg garment thing or kind of thing. Sort of like we saw on Praetorian Guard in Chirimwe once. And also the little belt design thing, like we saw on the Scout Trooper and Boba Fett. And the arms of which also quite simplistic, but with the like, but with the tannish green kind of pieces or hand pieces. Which I think were also generous as I can't remember. And also a like shoulder uh pawn or shoulder like piece or cloth piece. Which does wrap all around. But with three uh things to go on the head part. And it'll give you a the helmet. Quite good detailing all around. Like with a goldish visor part, which should be kind of interesting. And then getting off the chest plate piece, the, the long torso piece, and a lot of those like uh, two axle hole parts. And the blaster of which, probably the, one of the most exciting parts of it. There's one of the Borak eye pieces, but in opaque gray, which is kind of cool, which would be neat for mocking, and also the like a uh, blaster for them, but in white, which really cool, which should be quite neat to use. And here's which when compared to the minifigure which that comes with the Imperial Patrol battle pack. As you can see, a little bit of difference to them with black visor and black around the helmet, but the figure of which, not at all. And some black lower down, but the, but the fake billable one doesn't. Not sure why that is, but whatever. Maybe there will be some different ones in the film, I don't know. And so now, on to with the final verdict. So, the overall verdict is, I think these are pretty good buildable figures. Like, it's finally Han Solo to be next to the Chewbacca one. And these two of which to coincide with the upcoming Solo, a Star Wars story film. And uh, like plenty of good mockable pieces, and yeah. And if you're looking to continue your collection of the Star Wars build of figures, then go ahead and get these. And that's uh, it with this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And thanks for watching.